This program was funded by the Chupacabra Discovery Foundation. With your help, we can catch the Chupacabra, study it, and torture and kill it. Welcome to our feature presentation. A day in the life of a teenager and the social problems they encounter day after day after day after day as they grow into adulthood. Volume 1. Hey everyone, this is Timmy. Say hi, Timmy. Young Timmy here is going to grow into a teenager before he knows it. <laughs> Not that fast, Timmy. <laughs> now get the hell out of here. Anyway, we're about to take you on a journey. And to help you along the journey is the most likely roommates. Do good and dipshit. Well, let's meet them. This is Do Good. He's an honor student at his high school with a 4-0 grade point average. And is also the president of his student government. In his free time... He enjoys volunteering for such charitable events as Toys for Tots or Walk for Warmth. Heck, he might just give a few hours downtown volunteering at the soup kitchen. Last semester, Do Good won the national essay contest with his topic on American diversity. This is dipshit. He's a dick. Now, let's begin our journey! Nutrition. Do Good just woke up from a nice 12 hour sleep and is ready to go off to school. For breakfast, he enjoys a bowl of oatmeal sprinkled with flaxseed. Mmm, delicious. Dipshit just woke up from about an hour sleep. You see, he was up all night partying. For breakfast, Dipshit eats a McDonald's meal with as many calories as you're supposed to eat in one day. Washed down with a 40 of malt liquor. Whoa! Slow down there, dipshit! Do Good just got back from a nice filling dinner and is now tempted by a plate of devil cakes. He already enjoyed a dinner of baked chicken, steamed vegetables, potatoes, along with a bowl of fresh fruit for dessert. So he decides to pass. Do Good knows that overdoing is not good for you, and will make you feel plain lousy. Dipshit just got back from a filling dinner as well, and is tempted by the same plate of devil cakes. For dinner, Dipshit indulged in Taco Bell, and to the horror of others, devoured an entire grande meal to himself. Dipshit decides- OH MY GOD! OH GOD! D did you already eat that whole plate of- Oh! Oh, you ate all the devil cakes! Oh, that is disgusting! Stress. On his way to school, Do Good is cut off by an unruly driver. He is quite frustrated, but controls his feelings and focuses on driving, knowing that he could become a road hazard if he loses his cool. On his way to school, Dipshit is cut off by a driver as well. He begins to shout obscenities loudly to the point of hysterics. He hunts the car down for 15 miles until it finally pulls into a driveway. Dipshit proceeds to beat the driver with a baseball bat as he begs for his life. Don't you murder him, dipshit. Do Good just got home from a stressful day of school and work, and he is beat. He has to study for two tests for tomorrow and is in for a rough night. However, Do Good gives himself 15 minutes to just relax, enjoy a mug of chai tea, and read the day's funnies. This is a sure way to recharge his battery. Dipshit just got back as well after being bailed out of jail by his parents. Apparently, beating someone unconscious is illegal. He has a lot of stress. Considering he missed school and work and was arrested for assault, he really doesn't know how to handle this stress. So he parties. Violence. Do Good sees an old woman struggling to carry her groceries to her car. Do Good decides that he will help the old woman. Gee, Do Good, you're so darn helpful. Dipshit. Oh, we look at that. Dipshit is helping the old woman too. Gee, Dipshit, there's a side of you we don't really see a lot. Oh, wait, he's stabbing her with a shank. Yep, yep, he's stabbing her with a shank. Oh, oh, he's stealing her groceries. Oh, and a purse. Oh, God, dipshit, you're such an asshole. <laughs>